Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to episode 31 of CCO Complete Client Overview. Today we are reviewing Earthhack aka Phobos New Base for Minecraft 1.12.2. This episode is brought to you by my members. If you would like to get your skin and name in a video, be sure to join now for as little as $0.6 a month. Also, if you play on 2B2T, make sure to check out my 2B2T news channel, link down below for extra collab content. Earthhack is yet another free and open source client that can be found on GitHub. Today I will be using Earthhack from the GoPro archive for reasons I will explain later. The repository is very simple and there's actually slightly more information on the original repository. If anyone wants to build the client for themselves, I will link a repo by GoPro with the instructions on building the client. Here he explains why building the client is more difficult than some other clients and he has a detailed set of instructions that is easy to follow. Okay, so let me explain why I am using the release from GoPro's archive as opposed to the original build. I have recently decided not to run any clients other than my trusted paid for clients on my main computer. Going forward, all of the clients I review will be run in a virtual machine. This helps me protect myself seeing as I run a lot of smaller, lesser known clients for videos. Unfortunately, the original Earthhack crashes when loaded on Linux. Thankfully, GoPro removed this error in his version and it now loads perfectly on Linux. I am going to link the original Earthhack down below, which I am 95% sure is safe to run. I will also link to the version I am using by GoPro for any Linux users, or for people who don't trust the original build. I will also link to GoPro's repository with the instructions on building Earthhack for yourself, so that you know you are using a safe build. Earthhack has a total of 161 unique modules, and while the client offers its users a wide range of utility hacks, Earthhack is mainly known for its PvP modules. Auto Crystal. This module has over 30 settings and as is expected from the Phobos boys, it is a very powerful module. Kill Aura. This module again has nearly 50 different settings and the module is fast and powerful if configured correctly. Offhand. With over 20 settings, this may be the most customizable offhand module I have ever used or reviewed. Surround. This module surrounds your feet in obsidian. It is fast and again has a lot of settings. Piston Aura. This module automatically places crystals and then pushes them into other players' safe holds with pistons. The module itself works, but I found it to be a bit inconsistent. This may have been caused by my ping. Auto Armor. This module again has a huge amount of settings and the module itself is reliable and works well. Bed Bomb. This module places and explodes beds in the end and nether dimensions. The module has a lot of settings and works well, but it isn't the fastest bed bomb module I have ever used. Overall, the PvP modules are amazing and they are all very customizable, with most of them having 25 or more settings. Before we get into the utility hacks offered by Earthhack, I'd like to remind you all to like or dislike the video so that I know if you enjoy my content. Anyways, that is enough self-promotion, let's have a look at some of the offered utility modules. No AFK. This module stops you from getting disconnected when you go AFK. I like that it can also be used to auto reply to people that message you on a server. Boat fly. This module lets you fly around in boats. I did not get to test it on 2B2T but the module worked on some other servers. No hunger. This module stops you from taking hunger which is amazing for anarchy servers. Free cam. This module lets you fly around in third person to inspect your surroundings. They also have a module called Spectator that is like Freecam but more vanilla. Safety. This module lets you configure how the client will act when you are low health. You can force it to stop crystalling people when you are low HP so that the client doesn't kill you. 
Ping Bypass. EarthHack comes with a bunch of options for connecting to and controlling Ping Bypass. If this video gets 500 likes, I will release a CCO for Ping Bypass, so make sure to like the video if you want to see that. Overall, the client's utility modules are better than I expected them to be. There are a large number of modules and the majority of the modules I tested worked. Most of the modules also have a lot of settings which is nice to see. By default, the EarthHack GUI is not bound to any key. This means the only way to open the GUI is to type the following command in chat. Plus bind click GUI R shift. This will bind the GUI to the right shift key. You can replace R shift with any key of your liking. I really like the EarthHack GUI. It is very simple but stylish. I like that there is an option to show how many modules are under each category and that you can show what key is bound to each module. There is also a cat ears option which is uh, interesting. I also really like the new description module. This is by far the best implementation of descriptions that I have personally seen in a client. Granted, it is not perfect, a lot of the modules have a standard description that isn't very helpful, though this is an easy fix. Earthhack also has a HUD editor. I don't know if it is just GoPro's build, but the HUD editor did not work at all for me. It was extremely buggy. Overall though, I am a huge fan of how the Click GUI looks and for the most part how it functions. The only real support offered by the EarthHack client is on their Discord server. I have linked it down below. The server seems to be more a place for memes than for help though. There are no support or config channels. In conclusion, EarthHack is an amazing client for Crystal PvP. It is also a decent client for utility. The Phobos boys are such talented devs, but their reputation has been completely ruined after the Phobos rat. EarthHack is definitely a step up after Phobos and the client has so much potential. It is definitely one of the better free clients, but again it is sad that it comes with so much risk and such a dark history. As previously mentioned, I have linked all of the downloads down below. I am fairly sure that EarthHack is safe, but there is always a small chance that I am wrong. So if you do decide to run or use this client, you will be doing so at your own risk. Before I end the video, please leave a comment and let me know if you would like to see a ping bypass complete client overview. Thank you so much for watching to the end of my video, I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, 2B2T News and join my discord server with the links down below. Seeing as you are still here, I assume you enjoyed the video so please consider leaving a like and maybe even consider subscribing. I have also recently made a Caleb Gaming memberships area on my channel so be sure to check out the benefits with the join button. Quick shout out to my members for all of their support, without them I would not be able to try new pay for clients. Anyways, it has been your boy Kylab, peace in the Middle East.